The city says a new soccer stadium will drive economic growth. Target 7 looked at similar projects across the county and talked to one economic watch group that says using tax dollars to build is a bad idea. Building a stadium for a minor league soccer team is nothing new. Just because that's where a lot of the growth is in American sports. Look at this map. These are the USL championship cities that have built stadiums in the past five years. We know that we have a, a very strong uh, following for soccer in Albuquerque and quite frankly, New Mexico. But only one of them has built a stadium similar to the size and cost of the one being proposed here in Albuquerque. This is Lynn Family Stadium in Louisville. It opened last year at a tune of $65 million. This new stadium is the talk of the country right now. So is it a good idea? It doesn't make sense to me right now to have the city looking at subsidizing a team to leave the isotope stadium that the city owns um, to you know, build its new stadium. John Mozina of the Center for Economic Accountability has conducted stadium studies across the county. His group opposes using public monies to build sports stadiums. The reality is, you can whether it's through research or whether just the evidence of your own eyes around the country, is that stadiums are actually pretty terrible at being economic development tools. A lot of these other organizations across the country have use are using you know studies from different parts of the country. So let's just have that conversation when we get to the to the campaign. Here in Albuquerque, city councilors will be voting in the next few weeks whether to send a stadium proposal to voters. Mayor Tim Keller is asking for a $50 million loan to pay for it possibly on one of these two sites. You know, we've seen over and over in all these major cities where we invest in these kinds of facilities in the downtown, that it can become the catalyst for growth and development and opportunity for uh, housing and for uh, retail, etc. On Action 7 News Live at 10, we'll talk to city leaders about how they plan to pay off the loan for the new stadium.